Yes. Yes. <laughs> Victory. All right. Oh, oh, that's disappointing. What? I'm going to need to move us so you can see the abs on the armor. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it'll be a, it'll be a surprise uh, when we get to character creation. Because I'm sure they will be more central. Oh, I, I am worried. Uh, oh, no. All right, on that screen we can read. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, Steve decided I should like this game because it was like, you're going to fucking love this game. And I was like, no, that's not true. This, you know, why would I like this? And then the more I read about it, the more I thought I might. And I was like, Ryan, will you stream this with me? And I foolishly agreed. So my thought here, without, like, sight unseen, is that you... your sword bent? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I feel it's like there's going to be a lot of that. It's spring steel. Fair. That's how yeah. spring steel works. Right, yeah, it's just, it's whipping very quickly right now. Sorry, for, sorry to even question it. <laughs> this is motion. <laughs> it's very dynamic. Um, but yeah, so... Let's just start this game. Alright. Alright, standard. All characters start with one known skill. They gain a skill point every two levels. Normal, normal. Yeah, normal. that seems normal. The players who want to start with many known skills. I, yeah, I don't. All right, so so we know nothing about this. Yeah, so. I, <laughs> yeah. Let's pick up, spend the entire night trying to figure out what skills to pick. Yeah, there's like a idea. tactical combat story thing. What's up, Rich? All right, here we go. Inside the monastery is only one lit room at this late hour. Just enough light to see the empty pages of a thick book. A hooded monk leans over the desk inside with quill in hand. The desk inside the book? English is complicated. I think we've established that... that we're already inside the monastery. Also, bonus points for, for not... Oh, and he was speaking in the third person for the oh my start. God. But, like, this is the essence of, sh of of tell without showing. <laughs> like, there's a huge expanse. I am that monk. No, this is the blank page. This is symbolizing... Oh. But, like, that's the one candle in the corner lighting the blank page that he's about to start telling the tale Because it looks like wallpaper. Yeah, no, no. So he's about to start writing this story, but first he has to tell us about the writing he's about to do. All right, so here so to write a tale talk. so epic I cannot sleep until it is told. Dude, go to bed. Here, whoa, what, what's happening? He's drawing. Now, but now we have, we have gone. I don't know what tense we're in, or where we are narratively now. <laughs> here I write the tale of Amazon Princess Loren. Okay, we're gonna need to decide. Is it Loren or Lauren? I think it's Loren. Okay. If you ask her. All right. That's fair. That's fair. All right. So we'll we'll mix it up. I start this tale from the very beginning, back in a time when the world was blissfully unaware of the turmoil to come. Like always. <laughs> unaware of the future. Yes. I start this time this tale in a time before we could see the future. I mean, fair enough, maybe by the end of this magical story, they will be able to see the future. I'm excited for that. We begin high in the mountains, deep in a mighty for- Like, the narrative conceit of this is so weird, because you could just take the first part off of this. We're here! <laughs> and be like, high in the mountains, deep in a mighty fortress. I'm like, yes! I'm on board! <clears throat> Sword slices the head of a training dummy clean off. And it falls to pieces around the feet of a tall, raven-haired woman. Seems like a really poorly constructed training dummy. Agreed. Every morning the servants would bend the training equipment so that it may be destroyed again by their princess's hand during the next training session. Okay, you got me, game. One sword was not enough for this fierce warrior. No. Okay. We need to stop for a moment. <laughs> I cannot tell if this game is being serious or satirical. We'll, we'll, I, we will find out as we proceed, but at the moment, I do not care. This lady practices in oversized pauldrons, steel ram braces, and 
I'm almost so glad, underpants. I'm so glad I brought a pro armor on the stream. Yeah, like, like, yeah. She considered a shield dead weight and an empty hand a death wish. Princess Loren would only fight with a sword in each hand. Actually, Princess Loren did a lot of things with a sword in each hand. Pretty much everything given did an empty hand as a death witch. Where are the other dummies? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, slaves. All right. Oh, hello. Uh, Loren, Loren keeps slaves. Minus, minus one point for this game. So, we don't play as Loren in this, right? Like, we play as her, like, attache. That, I believe, yeah, we haven't gotten to character creation. We are not Loren. We are learning about Loren. There are none left, my grace. She was displeased to learn that her training would end so early today. She crossed her arms and stared down the attending servants. Yeah, servants and slaves, different things. Yes, very different. Then perhaps one of you should fetch a sword. Or two, empty hands being what they are. Whoa! The slaves gulped in unison after... <laughs> having witnessed what damage their princess could do. Like, what? Well, yeah, she's what is going she's on? Just she's trying like, to murder these people. She's like, yeah, oh well. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe this I is broke like, all my shit. Maybe this is a story of redemption for Amazon Princess Loren, God, I where hope she so. like learns that she's a monster. It's like, what if I just kill a fool? Will that fix my things that I broke with my swords faster? Before anyone could move, the piercing cry of a griffin fell from the skies. Just then, a messenger ran into the training grounds, panting for breath, it not being clear whether or not the messenger and the griffin are associated in any way. Now this one? Uh, Princess of the Wren, the captain, she has returned, alone, your majesty. The Wren broke into a run. She ran as fast as she could to the main square inside the citadel. It was quite fast. The Amazon scouts had landed with their griffins just to share why I arrived. Oh, so the griffins are transports, not monsters. Understood. Uh, that's clear. The captain of the guards, Braza, looked extremely grave as she approached her. Loren knew instantly the news the scouts carried would not be a routine report. Also note the griffin wrangling attire. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's that's what I'd wear when riding a griffin. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it looks like it would chafe. <clears throat> Yeah, because in order, like, to keep that shape, that's got to be boiled leather. Like, that isn't, like, linen or anything. Yeah. Um. Your Majesty, tell me. The scout stepped forward and placed a hand over her heart in salute. Queen Karen has been lost. It's Lauren. It's not Loren. It's Lauren. Queen Karen has been lost. <laughs> we got there. Uh, yep, yep, no, we're there. Yep. <laughs> Loren's face pale. And she bared her teeth. <laughs> she disappeared into the night. As of now, we do not know what happened to her. We are afraid of apostrophes. There's not a trace. We searched high and low, Your Majesty. She's not in Amazon territory. We have no choice in this matter. With the queen lost, Princess Loren must become our new queen. Because <laughs> not me. No, my mother is still alive and still the queen. She is not dead. You did not find her body. Searching for her must be our top priority. What? What? The... Go on. It's against the law to leave the citadel. Your mother's fate is too uncertain. That is precisely why we must find her. Try to find her. I will search for her myself if I have to. So, who? Wait, sorry. I was hoping it would make sense. Uh, like, after a click or two. What what citadel is it illegal to leave? The one that they just arrived at via flying monster lion bird? My understanding so 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 if I'm parsing this correctly, it is illegal for Loren to leave the citadel. On account of she is the heir to the throne, probably? Maybe, but why is she just said like I'm gonna go look myself? Implying that Well, her hard glare challenges anyone to say otherwise. Well, yeah, but wouldn't she like the natural inclination is be uh, all of you people go look harder? But it's illegal to look harder. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. New quest. Find, Find Queen, Queen Karen. Karen. <clears throat> you just discovered your first quest. Quests give large experience point rewards once you've completed. To view the quest screen, use the Q key or click the icon that appeared at the top right of the screen. 
clicking that icon will also let you access the party management screen. What is going on with that icon? Whoa, Jesus! Why is Wolverine? <laughs> Hello? No, no, that is Adam Warlock. How do I... Oh, close. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Alright. Your Highness. She looked conflicted. Your mother appointed me as the enforcer of Amazon law, and I must decree if you leave the Citadel, you forfeit all support from the Amazons. This doesn't make any sense, but okay. Sure. What? When you abandon the Citadel, you abandon your title. That is what the Great Mothers dictated. I took in a deep breath. She would deny, be denied the armory, the military, even access to the royal treasury. Here, why don't we... Why don't we do a thing here? Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab us, and I'm going to move us up to this corner. That way, all the text is visible. But I think the faces are far... We're going to tell them the text. Oh, that's true. We can sit, like, here. But the, there will be boobs and abs covered. I like. Oh yeah, no. It's good. Yeah, to, to the abs crowd, over text. Do you care more Ab about the text or the abs boobs over text. and the abs? I mean, clearly this game cares much more about the abs and the boobs than the text. So it must be. I will find my mother by myself. This is a terrible idea. You Rizzo, have an army. Send Rizzo them. closed her mouth and looked to her side. Majesty, do not apologize, Commander. You're doing your duty. The queen will honor that when she returns. Amazons may not be able to help you, but we will give you a promising individual who will aid you. Ooh, ooh, it, it ooh, me, and us. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can shrink the camera. Wait, wait. The, sorry, the monk pauses for a moment, looking at what was just written before continuing. So, the monk who speaks in the first person. So, the monk is now writing in the third person about himself. That's what that line means. I'm so. That's how it all began. Alright. So yeah, we play as Lorenz Attaché. Yeah. So Loren is a powerful fighter, but lacks healing skills. Your playable character has the specialization class Hero. Oh, what kind of specialization is Hero? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that will be very helpful throughout the whole game. Nice. Now That's it fine. is the time to choose your character. Alright, so... Alright, so... Absman, Elf Girl. Absman, Elf Girl. I, I feel like it's pretty obviously I, I would think... Uh, yeah, yeah, I... Yeah, like, we've, all, we've already got adequate, like, midriff and cleavage. Yeah, uh, yeah. Being... Saren, a male human, has been a slave for his entire life, born from a captured Imperial soldier. Ooh, rough. Uh, okay, yeah. What, what is the what is background for uh, oh, Elf oh, Lady? Let's go back. Um, a female elf. She traded her freedom for protection at a very young age. No. Hmm. All right. Are we a warrior? Uh, let's, let's click or, or a thief. What if we click? What happens when we click on warrior? What, so thieves quick inflict deadly blows and capacity target, but fewer hit points and cannot wear heavy armor. Warriors have lots of hit points and wear heavy armor, but move slowly and have moves slowly, so that. I, I wonder if that move it's, it's like turn order or like actual movement. I don't think like from what little I've seen, I don't think movements will find out. Right? Um, and have a limited ra long range combat skill. So range feel, matters. Mm. Um, well, let's see what they look like. Click on our thief. These are wicked oh, can we not go back? Usually stay in the back row. Remember that you can use Lorenz guard action to protect any thief from mage position in the back row. No, we, we cannot go back. Oh. We are a thief now. Alright, well I guess we are a thief now. You want me to travel with a man? She surveyed the young man more than a bit warily. Males were not well received among the Amazons, and their only function was to be seen is seen to be as a means to procreate. That is a sentence that, that just happened. We found a lot of talent in him, Your Majesty. Please hear him out. And this is you, of course, hundred <clears> percent. <throat> All right, so now I need to find a voice immediately for uh, our charming Saren. It is an honor to meet you, princess. Damn. Damn. He bowed to her deeply. He's the son of our strongest warrior and most loyal slave. <laughs> he has received their greatness and has also demonstrated a talent in healing. Oh, have I? Given that I only have one use, 
that happens to be procreation. Yeah. Like my healing powers uh, have a very specific implementation. There's no doubt he'll be a faithful servant. Is that true, man? Speak. Yes, your highness. I have served with you and her majesty dutifully at the ellipsis. Alright, so... Uh, so yeah, where have I dutifully... Okay, so this is All gonna... Right, so, so these are our stats. <clears throat> okay. Um, warrior attack power is strength plus your skill. Divided by two. Okay. Skill is... Oh, so we're a thief, so, so, so this is our thief attack power is skill. Okay. And then will is for wizards. Okay. Okay, which we are not. Which we are not. So, so... Um, I served the served you and Her Majesty dutifully at the. Uh, we want to be like a hardcore healer, I guess. That seems or, useful. It seems useful. It seems like unexciting, but very useful. Knowing that we will always have a healer means we can ditch other which agreed whatever people we want in and out. Uh, yes, I worked at the healers' quarters, the clinic. Oh, the clinic seems a very different sort of healers' quarters. At the clinic as a healer since I was very young. I've spent most of my days in the Citadel tending the wounded and making medicine. I like that you just sound like a video dating ad. You are the one who has cured my sparring partners. They always return to me in superb fighting condition. You're competent in your work, I'll give you that much. He's demonstrated a healing power unlike anything the Citadel has possessed before. Our own medicine women, doctors, in other words, have bent to relying almost entirely on his skill. Our own our own professional doctors in our society of women desperately rely on the natural aptitudes of this absman. Have you have you have you forgotten the only known function for males is procreation. All of this is innuendo. Oh yeah. He is only good at one thing, but he's very he's, good he's, at it. He's the Even, prime even the doctors themselves go to him for healing. He's the primary healer. He's he's your main healer. Yeah. Like, yes, he's eliminated the need for more healers with his speed and efficiency. <laughs> we are not sure how he learned such magic, for he was neither trained nor born of a mage. He's seriously going to damage our infrastructure once you take him with you. There's Actually, make him stay. Take the elf girl. No, no fun- fundamentally, we are we are encouraging you to take him with you uh, due to the fact that he is undermining a fundamental economics, uh, uh, like, pillar of our society, mm, mm. one person should not be replacing an entire industry. How, how is that possible? Uh, we believe that one of, the, one of his great mothers has kept magic in his blood and guided him to us. Perhaps for the very task of protecting you, princess. So what, what, what do you imagine? Oh, oh good job, us. <clears throat> Beyond his healing talent, he's a very distinguished slave on his own. Oh, oh, very good. I like how uncritically this engages with slavery. Uh, yeah. Maybe it'll become more critical once we lo- leave this cu- this culture. <laughs> this May- maybe screen. like, yeah, maybe like five steps out the gate, you're gonna be like, so not a slave anymore. You're not queen anymore. Peace out. That's so. Speak to me of your accomplishments. <clears throat> I know my way around a battlefield. I am told that love is a battlefield. For the last several annual proving competitions, I have been sponsored to enter and have won many titles. For this year's proving, I was granted top place in. So presumably, the target challenge is our skill buff. Yeah, that's range. Uh, Magic is our will. The arena is our fightsman. Yeah. So we're not a fightsman. No, we want we're like we're a thief. Type yeah, alright, yeah. Are we are we gonna be shootier or wizard deer? Probably shootier. Ah, right, let's be shooty. Yes, his skill with the bow and arrow rivals that of an Amazon's. In fact, he's re- he's replaced uh basically all of our archers on the on the Citadel walls. It's just it's fucking amazing, really. Oh, and we acquired the sk- we acquired a small crossbow. Oh, good for us. Not only has he dem- demonstrated superior fighting ability, but he's extremely loyal. Tell them. I was allowed the honor of accompanying my mistress to the tavern. 
where she was disrespected by several rude drunkards. Now, given that this is an Amazon society, my assumption is these rude drunkards are also women. Oh, yeah. One of the great things about, like, knocking down the patriarchy is uh, you, you, you can fill those holes with different kinds of assholes. Women can be shitheads, too, in this world. They were looking for a fight, so I... We're just picking the sexiest option here, right? Yes, 100%. <laughs> They're all so good! Offered to teach them a lesson. Okay. Sneaked my mistress from the tavern. So again, that's our this is our strength, skill, will. Um So I, I don't I don't think we need to be strengthy at all. I, I agree. I yeah, agree. Like, like I th- I think I think no, we we talked them down. We had a good uh Yes. I was able to talk the Amazons down from a fight, reminding them that Queen Karen forbids such brawling, sparing my mistress from any bloodshed. It's too and well. It's true. He respected his mistress deeply, as he will respect you. He did not fail to craft a present for his mistress for the winter solstice. Jesus Christ! Society's oppressive as fuck! <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they, they have slavery and feudalism. I mean, really. Tell her, what was the last gift you made? I showed my loyalty to her by giving her... A good rogering. <laughs> a powerful sword? <laughs> <laughs> a powerful sword, a beautiful bow, or a rare book. Again, this is our... our yeah, uh, may, maybe a beautiful bow? Sure. I carved a ceremonial bow to represent my mistress's superior skill in archery. To all of the Citadel. She allowed me to use the bow in the proving competitions, earning the envy of all. Uh, she received the gift very well, and I was praised. I was happy just to give her the small emblem of her great strength and wisdom. Except by the stat divide, it was neither of those that it, it signified. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. even my mighty mistress was not invincible. She succumbed to a grave illness, and in her last days, she called me to her side. She granted me one reward for my service, and I chose... This abtacular armor. Uh... Magic fucking ring? Yeah. You get offered a hunk of leather, a hunk of metal, or a magic ring, you take the magic ring! I would take magic beans. She granted me her heirloom ring, which was only jewelry to, which was only jewelry to her, but when I placed it on my finger, I felt a great surge of magical power. She not being able to place it on her own finger. Ring of Speed. Sweet. His loyalty doesn't end there, Your Highness. Saren has demonstrated the act of a true servant of the Citadel by standing here and putting up with all of my horse shit. <laughs> I was approached by another slave. Okay, in before, the slave was trying to escape, and he turned their ass in. Uh, yeah? Because he narked them <clears throat> out like a filthy narc. Yeah, yeah. They spoke of fantastic lands and cities, and a life far from the Citadel. I associated this with this person... Wait, sorry. I associated with this person to the point that he confided in me a plan to escape. He wished for me to come with him, and I... But thou must... Oh, you can help free him. Oh, then, yes, we fucking did that. Yeah. <laughs> I did not, I did not narc him out. Uh, Yeah, I refused, but helped to free him, because clearly he was a shitty slave, and his abs were substandard. (laughs) You could grate cheese on these abs. You what? This man spoke hatred towards the queen, and since I knew the Amazons did not want such a weakling in their service, I helped to get rid of him. I know that I know in my heart that servants of the Citadel all wish to be here, 
And I do not like to see someone who doesn't. I got some deeply institutionalized structural problems. And, uh... Yeah, look at those pouty brown eyes. Oh, he got a plus two at skill from that. All right, good job, us. Loren was silent. It'll be difficult, lost, to let go of our most prized slave. However, I trust you with no one less, my princess. Except, you know... Oh, we can start over. Let's not. No, we're good. We're good. All right, I'm, continue. I'm as happy with those choices as I can be. I as I would be with any of them. Are you willing to put your life on the line for my cause? Without hesitation, until we get through those gates. I suppose you'll be satisfactory. Ren demanded an immediate departure, as leaving could not be too soon with her mother missing her. Chapter 1. Look at these characters. I vote easy because we're streaming. Uh, yeah, that seems good. Restarting stuff sounds like garbage. Uh, what the hell is going on? We're playing Loren Amazon Princess. I, I think you can tell by the, like... I am the Amazon Princess. <clears throat> I am Saren, the uh, slave that does not really understand the position that he's been put in. Uh, was born into. Was if born. I oh yeah, born into. Yeah. Uh, and the life that he, he's led. Uh, but has an eight, a ten eight, eight pack. Has an eight. Has an eight pack. Yeah. Yes. yeah that, that that's that's me on the left there. Yeah. Yeah. Note the note the amount of uh, of items contained in this pack. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can always change the difficulty. That's cool. Mm. I thumbs up for games that do that. Run instructed Saren to take care of any business they had in the Citadel before they left. So you can shop in each town that you can travel to. At the start, you have basic equipment and carry a few potions. Potions will be very useful. All item is stored in the party inventory. Okay, so now we get to like the game part. All right. So <clears throat> the shop. Okay. So we have we have a crossbow. We have a hundred gold. Uh, apparently. Okay. Okay, so we can flip back and forth to see sort of what weapons we can use. Right. All right, so why don't we see what we have? Yeah. Uh, we open inventory. So Loren fights with two swords. Yes, this has been established for Pippin, who is, uh, <clears throat> who made this. Tempered Longsword, 14 damage. All right. And a standard sword sword, which is 8 damage. This seems fine. And our demon has a short sword, which does 10 damage, and a short bow, which does... So the crossbow is an upgrade for us. Okay, so by picking the right thing, we got we got a sweet... Okay. Alright, so we've now equipped our crossbow. Okay, so here's our thief skills. Our thief skills. We have, like, flasks and stuff, so it looks like we do a bit of debuffing. Alright. Uh, the interaction with this is really weird. We don't have any skills to spend yet. No. Okay. No. What's what's our second tab? Is that magic in? This yeah. is our hero tab. Okay. So we get uh, resurrection. Res. We got healing. Uh, uh, spell healing. Yeah. Shields. So we're basically going to spend everything in here, right? Probably. Quests. Oh yeah, we got, oh, we yeah, we got that ring. It gives us speed, speed five. Plus five. Alright. And Loren. How do we... How do we look at her talent? Sorry, I'm looking right now. So Loren has warrior. She gets abs. Super abs. Um, telepathy. Yelling. Shouting. Okay, so this is a, a hate system. So, tanking is a thing. Okay. Um, okay, sure. knocking people out of rows, so we got a little bit of the uh, the darkest dungeon. And, uh, power attacking. And then the other one, she gets Blade Master, which is her... Oh, okay, well that's where we get into, like, dual wielding. Okay, so, yeah. Um, rally... Yeah, I'm hoping we get a tankity tank, because it'd be nice if she could dual wield the head yeah, of things. Yeah, like our off tank or something. Yeah. Okay. 
let's close our inventory and let's go back to the shop. Is there anything that we think that right. we need? And probably not swords Maybe right off. Armor? What do we got? We have armor. Oh. I'm just looking into the stuff and it looks terrible. So are we I'm like are we just missing parts of our clothing yet? Uh, oh god, does this shit have durability? No, thank god. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, we yeah we're not we, wearing any pants. Yeah, we currently. Oh well, what if we take that off? Do we? Uh, okay, right click. Okay, it does not appear to change our appearance. That That's, is disappointing. Yeah, agreed, agreed. But we're currently not wearing any pants or boots. Okay. So, see if there's any pants or boots. What about Lorraine? Uh, she is wearing, wearing pants and boots. She's wearing pants and boots, yeah. She's got chainmail and fine boots. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, the UI on this is so weird. Alright, so... And a lot of this stuff, it looks like, is... Magic? Oh no, there we go, chain leggings. Defense plus four, speed minus one. Defense minus five. Oh, okay. okay. It's relative. Okay, it's, it's showing it's relative. Show, Thank it's showing, goodness. Oh god, that's so much better. Yeah, the plus. Yeah, the greens are showing us how it's going to affect us. That's oh, great. So good. Okay. okay so, All right. uh, what do those pants do for us? Plus four defense. Minus one speed. Plus, plus two, two threshold. threshold. Who knows? I'm sure that'll make sense. Well, this ring just gives us defense. Oh, we can't afford it. No, we don't have much money at all. Uh, how about a couple potions? They were they did strongly recommend potions. We need explosive bombs. Minor healing. There we go. Grab a couple of them. I think they don't set their... Oh, the... okay. There were a bunch. It looked like there were only two, but there's actually two. Alright, so now we have three. Oh, we have six. We had a bunch. So six oh, look altogether. at that. Never mind. Alright. Alright. Should we just... Yeah. Do we think we need anything else? I don't think so. We are... We seem to be equipped. I don't know what we're missing until we find out we're missing. We'll probably acquire those things. Presumably. Oh. Alright, so... Castle. Mm-hmm. Saren and, Lor Saren and Loren walk up to Commander Brazel. You remain, Your Highness. Have you reconsidered claiming the title of Queen? Absolutely not. I'm preparing for my journey. I don't know how long I'll be gone, but my hope is for not very amount of time. Of course. You seem suspiciously eager to forget Queen Karen. How dare you? You're a slave. You speak when you're spoken to. Silence! He is speaking in my interest. I'm surprised that you too. This is your queen you're dismissing so easily. Do not forget that she will return and will hear of your actions to rescue her. Yes, Majesty, I will need to reinforce enforce Amazon traditions not to dishonor Karen. Queen Karen. Gulped and corrected herself, herself, shooting a sharp look towards Saren. Moments earlier, she had been seeing. Quick, his sorry. It's Loren, Karen, and Saren. Yes. Is it? Is it not Saren? Uh, I know. It no, it's hundred percent Saren. All right. Like from Mass Effect. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's the same guy. Hmm. All right. So let's change our party setup. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, so, so we can see. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess uh, Loren will go in the front row. Click, and then yeah, and then we will go behind her. Uh, in the middle of the front row, or off to the side. Let's do that. Seems seems good. Leave. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you for letting us know that that's the important thing to do. Saren approached the front gates. Loren demanded an immediate departure. They would leave the security of the Citadel and cross the plains of Aravorn in search of her mother, no matter how long it took to find her. 
The first place to visit was the town of Grimoire in the Human Empire, implying that Amazons are not, in fact, human. Saren's goal was to reach the city of Grimoire, the capital of the Human Empire. It was a dangerous road, linked by goblins and bandits. When they arrived, however, they'd be able to begin their investigation. I bet there's witches there. Almost certainly. Lord and her ally were walking down the road in the middle of the plains, en route to the town of Grimoire. Even though Loren was quiet, Seren knew she was thinking only of saving her mother. The only clue is, we have is that my mother's guards have disappeared as well. If we find them, we find my mother. That is a good plan, your highness. I've been trained to agree with everything you say. Literally from birth. I fear, and also I understand that you will murder your slaves for the smallest of an, uh, of slights or ineptitudes. Their relationship was, was as one might expect between a servant and royalty. Saren quickly followed the prin- quietly followed the princess and would only praise and agree with her when given the chance to speak. He was used to being less formal, but then he had never served royalty before. Loren noticed nothing about this behavior because she was quite used to it. What, what, why? Wouldn't she be used to extremely formal behavior? Mm. This is the only way out of the citadel. So the queen must have passed by here. Of course, I mean, griffins can fucking fly and shit, but... But nobody mentioned a missing griffin. Nobody mentioned there wouldn't be. Sorry, it would seem to be very helpful if there were any witnesses to unusual activity. But, your highness, may I ask a question? No. Ren glanced at him with a frown. This was the <clears throat> first time he had dared to speak out of turn by asking if he could ask a question. If you must, but I cannot promise that I will answer. Why aren't we using a griffin to travel now? They're faster than walking and much safer. This is... <laughs> this line of dialogue comes from the writers of this game being like, but why didn't they take the eagles to Mount Doom? <laughs> why didn't they just take the griffins? You fool, aren't you aware of the laws of my people? <gasps> I fear for my life. For, for the most part, yes. Specifically the sexy ones. My choice to leave the Citadel took away my privileges. The Griffins are not allowed to me. Couldn't you change the laws? Shit, I hadn't thought of that. As the Queen, but I'm not Queen. My mother is. Of course, they were going to make me Queen, at which point I could change the laws, go and get her, come back, abdicate the throne, but then we wouldn't have a game. That, Saren. And that would have taken... Hours, maybe a day, possibly up to three. Coronations are very complicated. I see, and I'm sorry that I asked, Your Highness. How you know? Don't forget it. Also, knowing is half the battle. I guarantee that I shall not, Your Highness. We traveled mostly quiet during through the day until it faded to night. The land ran flat with sparse boulders along the path. That was a sentence that just happened. This looks like a good place to camp. We're on an open plain, so we're <laughs> literally everywhere. There's a couple of places that look shitty, the ones with the boulders, but otherwise, everything is fine. Loren, however, did not stop walking and continued on without a word. Your Highness, keep up. Saren sprang up from the ground where he was about to start a fire and hurried after her. Loren seemed prepared to travel a lot further that night. He steeled himself for a very long walk, and found it more and more difficult to keep his position behind Loren. She was beginning to walk much slower. Her feet were dragging against the ground rather than proudly stomping ahead like earlier in the day. Sir Saren knew that Princess Loren was tired. We should stop for the night and make camp. My mother is out there waiting for someone to save her. That someone is me. Almost certainly not, Your Majesty. Uh, by the way, I don't need to call you that anymore. Um, she is fully aware of the laws and would not expect you to come after her because then her line would have ended. Loren was not even going to stop even for a moment until Queen Karen was recovered. It was now Saren's job to keep her from sabotaging herself with her own determination. Oh, your first choice! Mm. Mm. Ooh. <clears throat> Definitely not forceful. 
No. We're not that. We don't have that. No. I don't think she's ready for humor. I think friendly is our best bet. Probably the least likely to get us killed. Fair. You'll be no use to your mother running on no sleep. Loren halted and spun around. What did you say to me? <laughs> I chose Game poorly. over. <laughs> Saren, Saren knew then that his life was over. He was too used to speaking freely with his previous mistress, and his tongue got away from him. A practice she had previously encouraged, but, you know. I'm sorry, princess. What I meant to say is that I am too exhausted to continue. Lauren shifted her weight and put her hands on her hips. You. I am used to hard labor, but I was always granted rest at night. By the grace of your highness. Lauren evaluated him, though only superficially. Deep down, she was more tired than Saren, who was, of course, a tireless He-Man. I thought you stronger than this. She pushed past him, past him and into the bushy grass. Sat down cross-legged, her back straight, and her arms resting on each knee, just like Amazon royalty. Sure. Lie down. I will give you only a few hours. Do not waste them. Getting the run to stop was enough for Saren, and he decided not to waste his mistress's generosity. He probably walked over and laid on the grass next to her, but not too close. That's for later in the game. I don't think that it is. No, no. Saren woke a few hours later to Loren calling him, and he did not see Loren sleep a wink. However, her speed and alertness had improved, letting him know that she might have rested after all. I've seen no population since we left. I was told the Grimar settlement was on this route. Where is it? Is it past that mountain? Which mountain, mistress? You see, before us. I've, you've instructed me to walk straight forward. Princess, that is not a mountain. That is the city of Grimoire. Well, it looks like a giant fucking rock now, doesn't it? Loren stopped once again to turn to her servant. That is not a city. It's too large. It is large. It is a large, walled city, like the Citadel. Amazons? Loren re reached for her sword, bristling at the thought of a competing tribe so close to her home. This, they, <clears throat> these people have a very complicated society. Yeah, and apparently... Their rulers have no understanding of local geography. They're like, it's been like a day. Yeah. Like, two to three days outside of town, uh, of their town, there is a major city that she does not understand the size or scope or inhabitants of. I'm no. glad that she's not queen. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. No. Grimoire is the capital of the empire. The nation of men. Please put away your sword. We are not to make war with... Sorry, sorry, I misread that. Please put away your sword! We are not to make war with them! <laughs> I like that there's a little sword noise. Loren looked at her blade, frowned, and slid it back into its sheath. Others can build cities as great as the Citadel. Are you sure of what you speak? For fuck's sake, yes. Castles can be constructed by any nation with the proper materials. You didn't know that? Let's go into a castle building mini game. <laughs> Fingers crossed for castle building mini game. Loren winced from the insinuation that she was not well educated. Stop nagging your. I was going to use the word boss, but. I know that Amazon's is superior to all other nations, so the Citadel is superior to all other castles. Hmm. This is going to be like mansplain the video game, isn't it? Yeah, but. Like, yes and no, because generally speaking, mansplaining does, uh, assumes the person being explained to isn't a complete... I don't even know what to call her. Yeah. Like, <laughs> pompous know-nothing? I, know. like, I don't know. Yes, I get, I get the trope that's happening here. I just... Saren learned just how sheltered Loren truly was. Even his former mistress knew all about the outside world. But then... She was allowed to travel outside of the Citadel's walls. Loren was not. He knew then that he would have to take better care of his princess than he anticipated. Alright, so... Now being taken the world map, uh, sometimes you travel to the city, you will counter a random battle! These battles are optional. Neat. 
Unlike the battle, okay. You can also access the camp button. Ooh, camp. Yeah. Alright, so... Okay, well, fair. The Citadel is very, very big. Trying to figure out what these buttons do. But I don't know. Uh, they appear to move the clouds. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to figure out what that means. Like, does it change the time of day? Because it doesn't appear to. Alright, so let's go to camp first. In the screen, you can talk with your party members. Available dialogue options ba change based on the main plot. Ooh, neat. Your choices matter. Oh, and now we get, now we get a long, nice long view of just how absurd wow. this woman's cho clothing choices are. Yes. Like, that like chafes. deeply. Some chafe, some chafe it too. So we have no available character quests. <laughs> Uh, that's presumably our romance meter. I really hope that is Loren's romance meter. And it's just like 9,000 levels. Well, no, no, that she, that we don't romance anybody, but she romances. She romances them. Like, I really I'm hoping we can romance people in our party together, because... Yeah, I, like, I, I, I really prefer to, kiss. like, bu build romances with Loren. Separate um, screens? All in, oh, oh okay, I, see. I see, yeah, we, yes. yeah. And then we can get to our... Okay. We, got, we got nothing at the moment. All right. The abstacular armor. All right, so let's talk to Loren. Saren approached Loren tentatively. She looked deep in thought, and it was probably dangerous to disturb her. Nevertheless, he spoke up. Your Highness. Fortunately, Loren gave him a slight nod of acknowledgement, but nothing more. Forgive me for asking, but I do not know much of the situation. Perhaps if you told me more, I could assist you better? What more is there to know? My mother is missing. Uh, yes, but what was the queen doing to have gone missing? When was she la When was the last time you saw her? Ellen raised her chin while her eyes blinked rapidly. That is a weird way to describe a human behavior. Like that is the kind of thing you would describe if you were describing a s like you were a space alien. Yeah, <laughs> like, like it looks like it sounds like she has a separate set of eyes. Like. She, she didn't blink rapidly. Her eyes, which are over there, they begin blinking. I can't <clears> tell you much of anything. I wish I could, but I can't. My mother was an, an immensely private person. You're asking for the facts, and the facts are that Mother, the Queen, was not in her bedchamber one morning. We have not seen her since. We did check several other bedchambers. And the scouts? We checked their bedchambers as well. You're not there. They couldn't find her, even... Though they could track a sparrow through a forest, they couldn't find their own queen. But we will succeed where the scouts have failed. Absolutely. Conviction brought hope to her. She uttered a sigh. I already knew that. Yes, your grace. Um, also, I'm going to point out that addressing a princess as your grace is probably, like, super insulting. Uh, princess is your highness, I believe. I mean, I assume this is translated from Amazon. There's mm, probably point, very, very different cultural things that we're missing. All right, so we're just gonna play the clouds. Uh, maybe the clouds are there for. Oh, I know what the clouds those buttons do. What? So those clouds are very thematic, but they kind of cover stuff. Oh no! So maybe you can't no. see the shape oh, you're looking no. for. So this is just a buttons to move them around a bit. So no, you can see the stuff. no. All right, I. Yeah. As I they approach Grimoire, the path wrong. cut through a wooded area. As you can see, Loren must stop abruptly and held her arm out to stop Sarah. Her expression was serious and her voice low. We're going to get a combat tutorial. Something isn't right here. They looked around, examining the area for anything out of the ordinary. Then they saw it. Someone was strung up from their feet by a tree limb. Other way around. They were not strung up from their feet. Head down with a bag covering their body. The bag writhed. They were still alive. Please help me! <sighs> the Ren and Saren rushed toward the person with several little screeching creatures sprang down from the tree. Goblins! Cut goblins. Yeah, seriously. Wood date. Is, like, they're very metal at digging. Fear shot through Saren as he realized the battle was now upon them. And the Princess Loren had never fought outside of training. 
It was up to him to protect the princess. Apparently they fight with fountain pens? I'm gonna go Possibly with... skeletons. Yeah. Pallet knives? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely Watch yourself. Pallet. Yeah. Same to you. Drew her two swords swiftly in a hurry to engage the enemies. You don't have to give me any instruction. I've been killing slaves my entire life. Sarah was surprised to see how swiftly you were at moved as she fought. She started with a vertical slash that moved so quickly her blade looked like a solid arc of silver. The goblin collapsed to her ground in a bloody mess because apparently we're not getting a combat tutorial. She lifted her other sword in a horizontal slash to behead another goblin. She danced between the enemies and evaded their attempts to counterattack with ease. Sarah looked surprised to see how beautifully deadly all of them he just looked surprised, though. He wasn't actually surprised. Yeah. He was just, he was she just appeared the goblin through the heart in one quick stab. Although well, we'd assumed that with all the equipment stuff, there would be some kind of tactical game. Uh, retracting her blade and clicking the blood off the metal with casual ease. Re- retracting? I don't... That's, her blades are retractable. Neat. They're like Wolverine swords. She's like Wolverine. That's, that's, I told you it was Wolverine up in the corner here. That's Princess Lorraine. She didn't have to stop and catch her breath. Nor did she break a sweat in a short battle. Alright, so... We were, forced, we were forced to do this people. <laughs> Prepare yourself for the first fight. Alright, okay, okay. So how does right. this work? Attack by clicking on enemy portraits. Click on ally portraits for friendly actions. Hover on the portraits to see detailed information in the left panel. To so repeat the last action performed, simply click twice, click twice on the portrait. There's a quick help option. Alright. Okay. So here's our movement order. Alright. Us, her, goblin, 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 goblin. Okay, so it's an initiative order, and this right. is by ourselves. So what, what do we get if we hover over goblins? Uh, we get... Oh, it shows us their resistances and stuff. Alright. Alright. My assumption is we focus fire on the. Uh, uh, like the front line. Problem. Just so we yeah, have to both attack probably, the same Yeah, because she can't attack the back line. Yeah. So. Yeah, so we a goblin. Alright. Alright, so now we can use an item. Make a melee attack. Make a ranged attack. Oh, you can't. Can we make ranged attacks against the. Uh... Now we can make an aim shot because we're a thief. Slower. Okay, so this probably changes. It yeah, may look in the side. It messes up our initial order, right? Oh yeah, all of these sort of change things around. All right. Yeah, delay eight, delay six. Okay. So speed is really gonna matter. In this game. All right. Oh, this guy. Okay, yeah. Back row, we can only hit with uh, range six guys. All right. And so what is their? Okay, and their hit points. So he has ninety six. Ninety six. Okay, and what does our better shot do? 35 to 40, but... Slows us way, yeah, delay 8, delay it is not double damage, is it? Oh, it's more than double damage. It's more than double damage, but it's uh, also double the delay. So, math says do that. Yeah. I think... 40. Ah, that's, that's a good start. Ren. So that has a melee attack. 45 52, because she fights with two swords. And her delay is only six. Alright, sweet. So. Alright, so they're not doing as much damage. Good, good for her. Alright. So, presumably. Oh, 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 if you click on us, we've got other things. Uh, defend, we can take a defensive stance. We can also guard someone else. Oh, neat. Neat. Good to know. Oh, and swap places. So if we get put, yeah, yeah if we, we get pushed around, switch position. position. Guard an ally in the back row for the next seven turns, taking damage instead of target. Ooh, that's super sweet. Oh, I don't think that's a big issue at the moment. Uh, but but my hope is we get somebody with strong like counterattacking abilities. Mm-hmm. The guard counterattack combo is always something I love in RPGs. Anyway, let's feel like that. All right. Now let's see if we can charge our way into the back row. No. Unless we have to, like, fully eliminate the front row first. Could be. Okay, so we're not, gonna, we're not gonna get him with that. 
So Loren's gonna get uh, go with the one above. So yeah, because Loren's gonna get to go again before we get to go. Yeah. So she'll take out that last 32. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right, oh okay. Go. Once you once you eliminate the front row, the back row becomes the front. We have a heal. Doesn't need it, but so from here, yeah, we're just gonna double you double click on the enemy portrait. Yeah, to have the same thing. They should have surrendered when they hit the chance. Okay. It's a, it's a, Once we have more skills, it'll probably be Yeah, it'll probably but get yeah. more interesting. But yeah, I, I think. Standard short sword and maggots, so we can sell. Alright. Saren hurried to keep up with her, but the fight was over quickly. Loren kept her swords in hand as she approached the stranger and cut the restraining rope. Saren grimaced, but found some amusement at Loren's obvious lack of concern for the person. <laughs> Tumbled down. <laughs> Yep. Made <laughs> thump sound effect. Tumbled down from the tree, groaned, and then squirmed out of the bag, mm -hmm. covering him. A lithe, blonde man stepped, stood up and brushed the dirt from himself. I got this one. Oh my god. Drake it's up. Malfoy! Oh, the groan hurts quite a bit, actually. Who are you? Even though the man's ears were tucked neatly behind his hair. He's an elf. Yeah, Sarah knows them sticking out from his disturbed locks. They were pointed. His ears. Are you Oh! You can tell. It's probably my thick elvish accent. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's Sarah, right. Sarah's familiar with entertainers in the Amazon Kingdom. The elvish impersonators who work there. <laughs> Cleared his throat and smiled. Elf on my mother's side, yes. He bowed deeply with an unnecessary flourish. Lady and gentlemen, I'm Draco Firestarter. I run a sick techno band, and yes, I do start fires. You start fires? In people's hats, and pots, and trousers, and fireplaces. The old fireplace, enough of your nonsense. Run wave their weapons as if he were as much a threat as the goblins, which is probably true. Was it simply because he was a man, or had her isolation from the Citadel turned her paranoid? No, no, don't get upset. Just play our own. Identify yourself now. Tell me your name like you just did. Your Highness. Oh. Your, your Highness, he just said. I'm surprised you haven't heard of me. The old, powerful, famous master fire magician and sec techno artist. So he waved his fingers in front of him and created a brief fireball. He made a sound effect to accompany him and laugh. Whoosh! Laughter was cut, cut short when Lorex, Loren kicked him straight in the chest and hurled him back toward the ground. That was just a demonstration! I meant no harm, honestly! Your Grace, I believe he won't hurt us. A sword or two through the face, we'll make sure of that. Loren slowly pulled his sword away from Draco's throat and stood straight. You're right, he's too incompetent to do any damage. Incompetent? That's not fair. I should really good with magic. All kinds, but fire's my favorite. My last name is Firestarter, after all. Like, I was born with this name. I've been trying to live up to it for, I don't know, presumably 30 years. And then how did you get captured so easily by a small group of little goblins if you're so powerful? Was that different group? Not your group. Goblins is told with trees. It's trees. It's outside, knowing there was no such things. It's a very convenient excuse. Plus, they were accompanied by a very powerful goblin shaman. I couldn't hold out against them all on my own. And the shaman was as big as... Enough of your excuses. You are wasting the princess's time. Princess? <clears throat> I had no idea I was in such great company. Technically, you're not. Technically. <laughs> she's the former princess. Draco took some uncomfortable steps toward the right. So Sarah had to block him, pushing him back. Cock block count as one. I, Should we have a board? I understand the princess's awfulness. <coughs> Half elf slide. Oh, no, I just, sorry, Steve. 
mocked with his for a brief moment. <laughs> he smirked, taking Saren off guard. Leave your guard down, no matter how tall the guard. It's unacceptable. I'm more useful than you might think. Perhaps you'd be interested in my services. I wouldn't charge much. And we are not interested. You look disappoint disappointed at your blood response. Not even if I throw in an especially beautiful lady discount. And ignored him and walked away. I like how dismayed he looks. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if you've noticed yet, Draco, but have you seen how sick my abs are? Yeah. What could you offer the lady? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. You could there's, grate, there's, there's you a could grate shit. cheese on this shit. There was a shit ton of innuendo that went on before we left the castle. I'm really, really good at fucking. <laughs> Right, Excuse yeah. me for a moment.